I just wanted to show you this little owl. He's wooden and he's multicoloured and he has joined my bookshelves. He is guarding my books from now on. My brother and Josie got me him for my birthday. I need a name, so please, I need your help. Please comment below and tell me what names you think this little guy should have. Um, that can be your job. Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. It is Mike here once again with a brand new speaking at camera video for you. Um, it may not have been a very long time for you seeing me like this, but it's actually been weeks and weeks since I've sat down in front of this camera and spoken. Uh, it's just life and I've been scheduling content to go up uh, and it's been working and I feel like that way I'm not a slave to the tube. So I come to you on a particular rainy grumpy, grim Saturday afternoon. It's the 3rd of November, I think, and I am here. I was going to um, do my birthday book haul, which is still the plan, but I thought that I might need a little bit of practice speaking to the camera for a minute just to kind of get back into the swing, so I've decided to do a little catch-up. Um, was not planned, but here we go. Um, I say it wasn't planned, but then I did Go and write some notes. This is, oh, this is this is really cute. This is a notebook, it's a taboo list. Uh, and I don't know if you can see it, this camera's having trouble today with the focus, but if I put it in front of my face. Oh, can you see that? Taboo, ooh. Because it's just been Halloween and, and my birthday. We'll get to that in a second. So I have written a little list of things I wanted to talk to you guys about, um, and yes, Purple, orange, purple, orange, purple, orange um, for Halloween. I know, I'm that boy. So the first thing I'm going to say to you is I turned 35 a couple of days ago. Yes, thank you. I can hear you wishing me a happy birthday from, from, from where you are. Thank you so much. Uh, um, 35, it was, it's was been lovely. I've had a really nice time. It's been quite chilled and that's what I love about as how I love to celebrate my birthday. I am not um, like a big party party person anymore. It used to be, but uh, not anymore. And I had a bit of a manic work week leading up to my birthday, and then the day of my birthday, Jay and I went to Bristol, and uh, I should say there's going to be a bunch of vlogs, and I'm going to get to that in a second too, um, about the last uh, month, but um, just briefly, we went to Bristol for the day, and we went shopping and we walked the length and breadth of Bristol. It was lovely to be out in the fresh air and by the harbour and just, even though it was a bit chilly uh, and a little bit, little bit wet but not too bad, uh, it just felt nice to be outside. I've been cooped up for a bit too long. So that was lovely. We just walked from Cabot Circus to Park Street up and down and round and it was just lovely. I had a really nice day. Um, and I had lovely presents of people. I had such lovely presents. I'm a very lucky person. Um, and everyone has been super, super generous. Uh, Jay got me some ear pods, which I not ha don't have in now to model for you, but they are, you know what they are. They're the headphones that don't have wires. And actually, it's such a stupid thing to say, but um, it, it's so lovely to be wireless. I, I'm, I'm not really feel like you're wearing headphones. I've got wireless headphones that go over your head, you know, like, like, like that. Um, but um, they, they really feel like you're wearing something. These earpods feel like they're not even there and you get access to your life, um, like um, podcasts and music and audiobooks and it's just real. So I'm really enjoying that. It's so nice not to have things dangling from your head. And if you're anything like me, do you like walk past doors and they get caught on door handles and they snap out of your ears and it's not very pleasant. So it's nice to be uncumbered. I'm really, really happy with them. I love them. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I had some, I just had lots and lots of lovely things, to be honest. I mean, I can show you a couple of things right now. I got some Funko Pops, obviously, of Jay. I hope this focuses for you. Um, this one's rather marvellous. This is Tigra from the Thundercats, which really does uh, show my age. And this one, I didn't know about that either, which is brill. And I did, I did know about this one. I chose this when we saw this in Forbidden Planet in Cardiff. This is Amy Pond, is a policewoman from Doctor Who. Um, she's brilliant, obviously a must-have. And then this one was also a surprise, and I was really tough with it um, because obviously it's Halloween. It's Michael Myers. There's a new Halloween film out. We've been to see it. I quite enjoyed. And I just think he's brill. He's absolutely brill. Creepy as but in a good way. Um, so that was fun. Little uh, 
mini mini birthday haul there. I won't go through showing you everything I had. That's a horse of a different colour. So, it's my birthday and I am on holiday for the next two weeks, which is my last break before Christmas. Yes, I've said it now and I can't take it back, but do you know what guys, when you work in retail, you're always working ahead of the actual time and event, you know? We had our Christmas meeting at work this week, so I spent a whole week doing the Christmas meeting and, um, and we held the Christmas meeting, so, and now Halloween has been, and so it's, we're almost there. I'm not one of these people who like, watches Christmas films or puts their tree up in November. I don't do that. I wait until December and it's normally the first weekend in December that the tree goes up and the house gets decorated. Um, and that's, and I think that's plenty of time. I think that's enough to enjoy the tree without getting sick of it because it's a hell of a job putting the tree up and I love Christmas but it is a hell of a job. And um, I sometimes sneak the odd Christmas song or album in before December because I get too excited for Christmas and want to start listening to the music um, and that will probably happen but right now it's okay to think and talk about planning Christmas I think because there's a lot that goes into Christmas and I think you do need to think about it so I'm I've got these two weeks off and in these two weeks part of my job slash plan is to plan <laughs> Christmas I've got like a secret Santa to organize I've got presents to start buying um, maybe even I dare I say it cards to start wrapping which I know might sound mental but you know what if it's done before December I will just enjoy Christmas and when you work in retail at Christmas your life is manic, and your life is manic anyway at Christmas, but trust me, retail workers at Christmas, we've got it hard. Just trust me. I mean, first world problems, but still. Um, so, yes, I'm off for two weeks, and I've got a lovely, lovely bunch of stuff planned. Um, what have I got planned? Tonight I'm going out for food with my friends for my birthday. We're going down to the beef eater for a nice little meal, quite chill, but I'm looking forward to that as well. Um, I didn't finish telling you about my birthday, did I? So on my birthday we did that, Jay and I were in Bristol, it was a lovely day, we went for food in the coal grill um, and that's lovely, I had a really nice um, French burger, it was fab um, and it had uh, caramelised red, red onions and brie on the top, I found the brie a bit much, I had one slice not two because it came with two but I really enjoyed it. Um, and then we saw my mum and dad for a cup of tea and some presents in the evening, that was cute. Uh, the next day was a chill day, I just needed to relax because I was wiped out. So that was fun. Um, then on Friday night, which was last night, uh, we, we were the family, we, we were trying to figure out when to celebrate my birthday and kind of fireworks night and us all be together because we were all quite busy and so we settled on doing it all last night. So we had a takeaway for my birthday, an Indian takeaway, it was so nice. And um, then we had fireworks and sparklers and birthday cake and it was just really, really cute and it was a really, really chilled, relaxed evening and I really enjoyed it, my favourite kind of birthday. So tonight we're going out for food, that's going to be lovely. And then the next two weeks I've got um, some lovely things planned. Uh, I'm just going to enjoy myself. Jay and I are going shopping on Sunday. We're going to go to Swansea. Uh, I'm going up in the night. We're going to go and see Bohemian Rhapsody because we love a Sunday night cinema. And I'm going to revert to my list now because I've got some things I want to talk to you about. So this last week, I don't know whether you will have noticed, but I noticed I didn't upload any content. Now, I was vlogging through October. I've done a reading vlog and I have split it up into two videos because it was incredibly long and I'm not being funny, I wouldn't let it sit through half an hour of me speaking. So uh, I split it up into two chunks and it's a, it, it is a reading vlog but it is also um, a life vlog. You're getting food, you're getting friends, you're getting life, you're getting funny things and, and book stuff. So it's um, it's a, it was a new thing, I wanted to try it and I started off enjoying the process and towards the end of the month it really started to dwindle because I got bored of doing it, so I am not going to do a month-long reading vlog ever again because it's too hard and I get bored and not putting myself through that. But I, I've edited it all together. It's quite cool. There's there's some nice funny bits in there, and um, I hope you enjoy. So they are going to be going up this week. What you might get from me is a bit of a week of videos, not all maybe like three videos this week rather than the normal two because I've got a bit of a backlog now and I don't want us to be at the end of October, end of November, sorry, um, still watching October videos, if that makes sense. So the plan 
for this week is you're going to get three vlogs this week. You're going to get reading vlog for October part one and part two and then you're going to get a separate birthday vlog because the birthday stuff was quite nice and fun and I did film a bit more because there was things to see so you got a separate vlog for that and it's fireworks and it's it's just it's a lovely family um, video and I'm I'm happy with it so that's going to be nice and fun. I um, hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, yeah, because if you don't, don't watch it, so it's fine. Um, and then, so that's those. So, three vlogs. Then I have the birthday book haul, which is not yet filmed, and I don't know whether I'm going to have time today, and plus this camera is really doing my head in because it's not focusing on me. It's enjoying everything around me, but not me, and we can't have that, people. Um, see? Look, look. Terrible, terrible. So... Um, I've got the birthday book haul video and I ha of course I had books for my birthday uh, and I want to share them all with you but maybe when I'm in uh, a better zone, maybe tomorrow. So that's another video. You're going to get the October wrap-up of what I actually read uh, despite the reading vlog. I will give you my sort of summary on how I felt about the books I got through in October which, spoiler alert, wasn't very many. It just didn't happen. Um, I am also yet to film my first 100 video for The Silkworm by Robert Galbraith. Uh, I am way past 100 pages now. I'm probably nearer near, uh, 300 pages into it now. Um, so uh, I don't know how, whether that's going to work out or whether to just skip it, but I am very much enjoying it. So I do have to potentially think about filming that. Uh, I have got a this video, this post video, no, this post-birthday sort of catch-up video, first video at 35, 3 and 5. Um, this has to go up, I don't know when this is going to go up, so maybe this will show up first. I don't know, this video's on the windowsill uploading as I speak. We'll see, so there's that happening. And I do have a video about... Oh, I have this thought, um, I kind of want to do a video about what I do in November to start myself preparing for the Christmas period. And I know that might sound absolutely mental. Um, sorry, I'm getting warm. Um, yeah, no, it's coming off. Soz, excuse me, guys. Did you all meet Mario? Um, yeah, I have a, an Italian plumber on my chest. For a change. Um, <laughs> so... Um, I do have a video planned where I would like to kind of show you what I do in November to prepare for Christmas because I don't know whether it might help. You guys, I love Christmas, but Christmas is literally all about the planning. So I might take you through the little bits that I do this in the next couple of weeks um, that help me with Christmas stuff. If you'd be interested to see that, I don't know, let me know in the comments below. Maybe you're just like, Mike, it's too early for Christmas. I'm not talking full-blown festive video here, guys. I'm just talking about a little bit of planning, a, little, a few tasks to get out of the way, and I kind of want to show you my um, pantry. I have a pantry, and uh, it's uh, f starting to fill up with Christmas goodies, and I think that you know all you foodies out there might be interested to see what I get up to eating during the Christmas period and I tend to buy stuff now. So there's that potential video um, which I might find fun and last but not least, the last thing I want to speak to you about is NaNoWriMo. Now if you guys might not know what that is but it's National Novel Writing Month. Uh, the whole <laughs> the whole month of November is National Novel Writing Month and it is a bit of a um, challenge there's a there's a there's a website you can join if you're a writer where you you commit to a certain number of pages per day and it really gets you to focus on your project and it's a really cool community um where you get lots of newsletters and things and advice from authors and publishers and and agents and just stuff general writing concentration now um, a couple of years ago i did do it I, maybe i've done it a couple of times to varying degrees of success and i'm not saying i'm doing it this year because I have quite a lot on and I don't know whether I'm going to fit it in because I, when I commit to a word count I like to really commit to a word count. Um, however, I, I am going to be writing in some way, shape or form over the next two weeks because I do find this little time of two weeks off really does, um, I don't know, it just streamlines my thought process this time of year. I'm able to kind of We've got through the year and we're about to get to a busy part for everybody and it's quite a nice time to reflect and get those thoughts out of your head onto paper or onto, onto your laptop and just uh, I do tend to do, get quite a lot of writing work done this time of year 
Also, if you didn't realise that I write, I write. I'm glad I cleared that up. Um, yeah, so I will be writing in the next couple of weeks as well. So quite a lot on, um, quite a lot of content coming your way. And we are feeling good. Tired, I am. I'm really tired and I don't know what's going on, but... Um, I don't know whether it's just a change in the weather because it's turned cold and dark and grim, so it could just be that. Um, but that is the end of my to-do list, so thanks to that little pad of paper, um, which is a, a little cute addition to my life. Um, I am going to love you and leave you there and hope you guys are all feeling good, enjoying yourselves. What have you been up to? I love a little chat. Please comment below. Get involved in my social medias. They are all down below. Um, and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you very much. Bye.